Welcome to Alex G's Aquarium, everybody. Today's topic is reefing after dark, bioluminescence in the reef aquarium. If you're not familiar with bioluminescence, it can be defined as an organism that emits light through a natural chemical reaction. Now, I've been watching a lot of documentaries and reading a lot of information on bioluminescence and other topics related to marine biology or just general reef aquariums and I've always been fascinated by bioluminescence. And after reading a lot of this research, I started to realize that a lot more organisms in the ocean than were originally thought have the ability to create bioluminescent light. And I started to wonder, well, what if I were to look at the reef tank at night and see if I could see bioluminescence? Now the 1600 gallon system is relatively young. It's only had salt water in it for a few months and it's only had some live rock in there from the ocean and some live sand. Decided one night, why don't we sit back, wait till the lights go off, sit down in front of the refugium tank since it has live rock in it from the ocean and see if there is any bioluminescence. I was very skeptical that I would see anything. And when I got in the fish room with the lights out, about five minutes into it, I realized it wasn't so dark in there because of all the bright LEDs on the equipment in the room. Therefore, I went ahead, got my electrical tape out, and I taped up all the pumps and display LEDs on all my equipment so that I could get near total darkness in the fish room. When I say near total darkness, that means I could not see my hand in front of my face. Sat down, started watching the 150 gallon refuge tank. A few minutes into it, I thought I saw what was light reflecting off the glass from some source behind me in the room. I tried to look around and find it and I saw nothing. I went right up to the tank I then realized that there was no light source in the room that was creating that little reflection on the glass. In fact, it wasn't a reflection at all. It was actually some organism in there glowing. And this organism was glowing a dull kind of green blue light and I just couldn't believe it. Actually, it looked really similar to the image that you're going to see right here. Now that image was from an isopod that was on the front glass a few days ago. It's not the exact first thing I saw. It actually took me several weeks to be able to figure out how to take a photograph of bioluminescence. And I'm not a professional photographer or even an amateur photographer. I'm like a novice photographer. And I spent countless hours trying to figure out how to take pictures of this stuff. And that was one of the very first ones I've gotten of an isopod that was just constantly glowing on the glass. Now I managed to capture two different types of organisms that are glowing. The isopod is the first one. which you saw the picture of. The second one is a brittle starfish, and here's a, a regular picture of it here so you can see what they look like with the lights on. Now the brittle starfish has a very brilliant display. It actually is a defensive mechanism from the way that it, it seems to be triggered. If anything touches the brittle starfish, or there's any kind of irregular water movement over it, or heavy vibration, its arms will start to glow and have this pulsating green light that goes through them like a little fireworks display. Actually, it took me a little while to figure out what it was because it would happen in the corner of my eye and I couldn't see what was happening until I kind of slowly figured out that, you know, some of the documentaries I watched, they, they showed starfish that were bioluminescent. I saw the arms of the brittle starfish sticking out of the rock, which is pictured here. It took about a week for me to figure out that where those arms were sticking up out of the rock is where the light was coming from. And finally when I went and touched those arms the one night, I saw the bioluminescence. I managed to get some really cool photographs of it, which I'm going to show you guys a series of right here.
Those images of the bioluminescent brittle starfish, I think, are really cool. There's several seconds of exposure time, so you're not going to just see one arm of the starfish. It's going to look like there's a whole bunch of them because the camera is capturing all the movement in several seconds that that starfish does when it's disturbed. I'll be forward in saying I don't disturb the starfish very often. Every half hour or so, something seems to set it off in the tank on its own anyways. I managed to take a series of photographs of one area of the tank and I took those photographs, I turned up the brightness, turned up the contrast to remove most of the noise and make the image a little darker and make the, the bioluminescent dots stand out a little bit more. I stitched all those photos together as a short clip. Go ahead and take a look. Now that quick little video just starts to capture what you can see. Of course, seeing it with your own eyes is a completely different experience. While you could see some little dots flashing on there, for the most part they're all bioluminescent flashes. Some of them are a little bit of the noise from the camera that got through. But I will say when you are looking at the tank directly and you have your face right up to the glass, there are a lot of extremely faint and dim flashes going on that are almost not registering to your eyes. They'll so be out in your peripheral vision a bit. Mixed in on a, a lot fewer occasions are brighter flashes from things like the brittle star. And on a rare occasion, something else will just flash a very bright light and I'll have no idea what it is. For the most part, they've happened and I've never been able to figure out what they are and I've never really been able to capture them on film. Although I did have one instance where probably the brightest display of bioluminescence to date that I've seen in the refugium tank happened right when I was about to pack it up for the night, put the camera away and go to bed. And all of a sudden this bright green glow came out of the tank, right in the front of the tank and right in front of the camera. So I flipped it on, focused in as best I could really quick and started taking pictures. And here's the series of photos I got from that. Now I have no idea what that thing is. I thought it was just one thing, but as the other images progress through, you see there's kind of several glowing dots in there. So I don't know if it was a whole bunch of isopods or something else together or something that was getting eaten. I have no idea. But it looked really cool and I managed to capture it on camera. So I'm happy about that. I think this is a topic that was a little more difficult to talk about than a lot of other things just because everything is so visual and to talk about bioluminescence on YouTube or writing about it even in an article is difficult because Without any kind of pictures, it's hard to get a sense of what you will see. And I wanted to provide pictures of what I'm actually seeing in my reef tank so that you can get an idea of what it can look like. And this is where I'm really counting on you, the viewers out there, anyone that's reading the article on Reef to Reef, I really want to know, how common is this in our reef aquariums? Are we all missing this giant fireworks display at night of bioluminescence and we don't even know about it? I really think this happens a lot more often, but I really need everybody else's help. Take a look at the article I wrote on Reef to Reef. I talk in a lot more detail about whole process setup, things I did with the camera and its settings. So take a look at that if you're, if you're interested to do a viewing session. Even if you don't want to take pictures or record it, Go ahead and sit down in front of your tank with all the lights out. See if you can see this natural wonder that occurs in our world. It's not every day you get to see this, and knowing that it sits in my basement, I can come down and see it pretty much every day is really interesting to me. I'll leave you guys with that. 
If you have any comments or questions on this topic, please leave them down below. Of course, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. If you didn't like the video, that's okay too. You can leave a thumbs down, that's all right. Of course, if you wanna see more on the 1600 gallon system or more of the topics that I talk about related to either this system or the reefing hobby in general, equipment, how-tos, DIYs, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching everybody and I will see you on the next video.